Okay, so the first thing we have to do, we're going to do the eggplant one first. All right, so we've got the eggplant. And what we've got to do first with that is I need a knife. Okay, now for normal people who don't have one of these, just slice your eggplant um, with your knife. But first off, you need to quarter it. Okay? You need to quarter it first. Um, that's what needs to happen first. So we're going to do that. No, I didn't bring the board over. There's no bloody room. You see this room here? That's it. The board is twice that. So, no, I didn't bring the board over. And we can move this sticker as well. People in this stickers. Right. Luckily, I have a friend who's going to help me with the slicing of this. Now, I want this to be proper, like, three mil strips. So I'm going to, now you want to put it that way on if you're going to do this. I have it set to number three on here, which is three mil. Now if you are lucky enough to have one of these, use it. If you don't, just try and get them as thin as you can to close to three mil as you possibly can, okay? Now I'm going to turn this on. Why is that? Ah, okay. Keep your fingers out of the way, okay? <laughs> See, you could use a mandolin as well if you wanted to, if you have one. Um, I wouldn't use a veg peeler, I don't think that would work quite the same way. Let me just get these out of the way. Flatten them off there. there go. Ooh. I think that's it for that one. Well, we have got that bit left. I'm going to just put that in the compost so we just switch that off while we're not using it. And that can go in compost. Because safety first, peeps. Right. Here's a little bit of a preppy thing, but. We'll get there. One, two, three. Just watch your fingers, okay? Not gonna lie, this is one of my favourite kitchen gadgets. And the one thing that I honestly think was one of the best investments I ever made. Because it means like after a roast dinner or anything like that, we can just slice up the meat really, really thin. So that it's ready for whatever. Just gonna put those in here for now so that they're out of the way. Look at all those slices! Okay. We just got to do the other half of the the eggplant now. So, yep. Yeah. So we buy whenever we have a roast, we slice it off in here. It gives us um, really nice thin slices. Oh, that one's done. And it also means like if we want to buy salamis and things we can get them in the big sausage and slice them however thick or thin we want them and it'll last longer rather than um oh that wasn't clever come here give it what are you doing down there seriously seriously what are you doing So we've got all those pieces there now and that's done turn that off we didn't want any accident what are you doing here okay there we are we've got 
to here. Now what we have to do is we need to get the, oh, sorry I've got a cat under my feet. Um, we're going to put all of these into here and we're going to salt them. All right, they've got to be salted. You've got to salt them. You've got to use lots of it. Gets all the bitterness out, all the excess fluid and stuff like that. Neil, Mrs. I didn't wake her up. She just decided I was here and she wanted here as well. So, so we're going to use, I know it looks like a lot, but quite frankly, it's necessary. So we're going to chuck them all in here and make sure they're good. Good lot of salt. Now they'll have to be left now for about 20 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes. Um, and we will come back to those. Make sure that they're all completely coated with salt and I'm going to go and put that over the sink now so that they can just drain off right there right. oh over the shoulder right Give me a second we we'll just yep yeah. okay so while the aubergine is being salted and doing all of that kind of stuff we're going to crack on with the carrots we're going to do that next because they need a little bit of marinating time as well okay so we're going to get that done so that they're ready to go let's go and here are the carrots that i have left <laughs> don't have a lot don't have a shocking lot of them at all all we need to do with these it's just top and tail them and then we're going to peel them really You're right here <laughs> I love her to pieces but jubas she really freaks me out because she gets right under my feet right so we're just gonna peel all those off for this it says these don't have to be very thick in fact you could use the veg peeler to slice them which is what exactly what we're going to do and it does make sense the aubergine should be thicker than the carrot because the carrot's actually a root vegetable and takes longer to cook and the thinner it is the more likely you are to get to really nice crispy bacony strippy bits whereas if you have it too thick you're gonna end up with not that so or it'll just take longer to cook so we're just gonna get those on down now I've had to put my the oven for this is 400 degrees F which is 200 degrees Celsius which is gas mark 6 Okay, but right now we're going to be putting the aubergine in first, so at this point I think, Oop. okay, let's get rid of all of those, Ooh. put them in the compost bucket. strips like this it's gonna take a while so I'll come back to you when they're done oh ta-da magic of not television right so these ones are a little bit different um, we have to get our ingredients out because these are going to get marinated so we need our tahini I need a tablespoon of that I'm just going to get a spoon of it 
screen. Um, give me a ball. I need a ball. Alright, I'm gonna get a little ball. Right. Put that over there. That there. I'm gonna go here. Like I said, tiny kitchen. Right. So we're gonna get. Ooh, that's quite oily. A spoon of tahini. Get off. Right. I don't think we need really to add rapeseed oil. I think we're just going to add a bit of this. There you go. There you go. You know. We're not done. Right. We've got that. Now we need maple syrup. A tablespoon of maple syrup. To me that's a slosh. That's a slosh. The maple syrup. Now the next bit is a teaspoon and a half of soy sauce or tamari or aminos. Now I have aminos. Uh, I bought some. These cost shit tons. Not gonna lie, they're very fucking expensive and cost me like eight quid. So, um, I'm just going to use a tiny bit. That looks like about a teaspoonful of that do. Right. Okay. <coughs> wow, it smells like soy sauce. Yum. Okay. Now we need a teaspoon of liquid smoke. This shit do. Because the earth. Over here. Uh, but it's all good because... All of these recipes say you only use a teaspoonful, which means a little bit goes a long way. So even though the whole bottle costs like eight quid, uh, it means don't look, don't look, peeps. You don't want to see this. Oof. Ah. Okay. Did that? Did it work? Oh my god! I still can't open this friggin' thing. Well, we know it's well wrapped. <laughs> so the fact that these things do cost quite a lot to set up. I've got a feeling there's a thing under there. Yeah, there's a thing under there. Oh my god. <sighs> okay. It's fine. Yes, it is a bit of a much. This is why it's taken a couple of years for me to get all my shit together. So, literally. So that should be about a teaspoon, I reckon. There we go. Now we're going to mix all that up. We do, we do. Now it says to put in a blender, but I don't have a blender at the moment. I don't even have an emergent blender. And I think for this tiny little amount, that's just laziness. So let's just mix it. Get a little bit of arm exercise happening at the same time. Here we go. And that's it. That's it. That's all you have to do. Now there's all my carrot. All my four little bits of carrot. <laughs> Adds up to one big carrot, I reckon. Now we just tip that over the top. Like that. Ooh, it smells quite yummy, actually. I like tahini anyway. I do use it. Like, I use it in, like, hummus and stuff, so. And I have been used, used it instead of peanut butter, but, you know, you don't want to do that too often. <laughs> it's quite bitter in its own little way. Right, so, now that can all bugger off for like 20 minutes, because it's got to go and marinate. So we can just put that over there. Ta-da. Done. Stay. Stay, ship. Right, let's get rid of that. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to start on sunflower seeds. Now to start off with them, we need a cup of sunflower seeds. <gasps> Who'd have thunk it? Right. Just as well we top these up, didn't it? Right. Now 
Now this is the equivalent of like bacon bits apparently. So we're gonna get ugh, a few of them in there. Bugger it. There we go. It's quite a few. It's quite a lot. It's all good. Right. I'm gonna get this big jar out of the way before I drop it everywhere. Because that would be sad. And I would cry. Okay, so next I need a tablespoon of tamari or soy or aminos. So I'm gonna use the aminos because I've got them. And I think we need to start the way we intend to continue. Right. Are you sure it's a tablespoon? Yes. Well, this is kind of a dessert spoon, so I'm going to put two of those in. Come on. Any time today. Okay. Right. We need a tablespoon of maple syrup. Can you tell they're American? Right. It's all good. Give it a crack. All right, that should do it. I'm going to do a teaspoon of liquid smoke. Oof. That should do it. Some smoke. Ah, stop it. Paprika. Just a little bit. Don't need loads. Half a teaspoon, teaspoon, whatever you want. That'll do. It says a quarter of a teaspoon of cayenne, but I'm not going to do that. Oh, because I want bacon. I don't want to die. So I'm just going to mix all these together. Now, you can marinate these for 10 minutes, and I might just do that so I can go and drink my brew. Because by the time I get back, The aubergine will be ready to do the marinade for that. Okay. So we're going to do all that. Right. See you in a bit. Okay. So, it's been a few minutes. I've had a brew. I'm back. Everything's marinated. They seem to be done. I'm just going to go and get a baking tray. This one I prepared earlier. Yay! All right, and we're going to put these on here. Now this, I'm doing these first because apparently they only take about five minutes. So, you know, that's all good. Don't want to waste any because I want them all because I'm greedy that way. Okay, now we want to spread them out as much as we can. You don't want them too scooched up. There we go. Now those are going in the oven and I'm going to keep an eye on them. But they're only going to take five minutes. cracked on with the carrots now which have also been marinating for mm, however long it took so we got all of them they're done and we're gonna lay them out on the baking paper now this is gonna take a few minutes because there is quite a lot Uh. 
it might actually mean that I have to do like a couple of batches of this. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Ugh, sorry, out. Sticky! Because there is quite a lot of it <laughs> that I have done. Alright, that's going to have to do for that lot, I think. Oh, wait, have I got another small one? There we go. I'll just stick that one there. Right, it's going to have to be two lots. Now that's going in at the same temperature as the sesame seeds ones, which is Ga gas mask six. <laughs> and we will turn them over in a little bit. They've just got to go in four. Let me just check. Fifteen twenty minutes. Might not even have to turn them over. We'll just see. I'll just chuck them in. Back in a bit. And while all that's going on, we have our eggplant, which I've just rinsed off to get salt off. To save a bit of time. Right. So we need to deal with all of this. All of this. So yes, I know these are fiddly and they're a bit of a pain in the bum, but you know what? I'm not doing anything this afternoon. I'm not. Not really. I am, I'm talking to a couple of mates, organising a few appointments, but apart from that, I ain't doing nothing. Not a thing. Right. I need a bowl. that on top of those ones stay okay stay 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 now we're gonna do the marinade for the eggplant so we want two tablespoons of balsamic I've got maybe one <laughs> so that's gonna have to do bugger oh well um, let me see, what can I do? Right, okay, I've got some cider vinegar up here, I'll just use a little bit of that. Okay. Alright, so we've done that. That's cool. Three tablespoons of tamari or soy sauce. I think that's a bit much to go for the aminos, so we're going to get our soy. Um, the only soy I seem to have... the cake at manis which is very sweet not so salty so what I might do is do half of that okay do a bit half of that so that's about a tablespoon of that and then I'm gonna get some of this which is basically Worcestershire sauce except this is the Yorkshire version same shit so we get some of that in there that looks about right to me. Right. And we need some maple syrup. That should do it. And we need a little bit of olive oil. Which I prepared earlier. I'll do. Liquid smoke. A teaspoon of that. That'll do. Bit of salt. I think we've got enough salt in there actually. Half teaspoon of paprika. That'll do. And some pepper. So I'm just gonna 
crack a bit of that in there. Right. Okay, now we're going to have to mix that up. But while I go and get a spoon, I'm going to grab those sunflower seeds out. Because it should be done. Where's I need? Where's my hot cloth? It's gone. Okay. Ooh, fancy. Wait, you get back up over the top. Right on top. see those in a minute I just need to finish this <laughs> okay because this is a bit of a fiddly pain in the bum actually just quietly all right so that's all mixed up Ta -da -da -da. now apparently you're supposed to brush it <sighs> barely do I have to? Uh, apparently you got to cook it off first. You've got to cook the eggplant off first. And then oh, do all of that. So I'm just going to get this tray. This one here. I'm going to get some of that popper. See, this is where it pays to have a big enough kitchen to be able to sit your bum down. <laughs> In between halfway doing bits and pieces of this. So. Okay. So we're going to place our strip. You fit. Stop being naughty. Right. Apparently this all has to be cooked off first. It can't be put on the eggplant beforehand. So this has got to be cooked for 14 minutes on gas mark 7, which is 220 Celsius or 425 Fahrenheit for the first 14 minutes. But you've got to turn it over in the first, in halfway over in that time as well. So it's all good. We'll get there. Do do do. Do do do. Now this one's a little bit fiddly. There are recipes for doing this with a dehydrator. I don't have one, hence doing it in the oven. Um. So yeah, that'll do. Right, I'm gonna put that in the oven in a minute. Yep, I'll be back. Okay, so here we go. Here's our sesame seeds, sorry, sunflower seed bacon bits. Now, they are a little bit stuck together, which is to be understood because of the sticky things, like maple syrup, which, as it cools, will start to, you know, turn into solid sugar. <laughs> <laughs> Crystallize and all of that kind of thing. So we're gonna try and loosen those off as much as we can. I just want to give them a little try, actually. Honey, do you want to give these a try? No? Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. How in the world, man? Just how? It actually has the flavours of bacon. Now, the only thing that I would say with this one is that I might, if, I'm, if when I do them again, and I will be doing them again because they're actually quite lummy, um, I'll use twice as much marinade for them because it doesn't seem to cover it all really well so but that's okay it's all a learning thing 
And we're doing it for the first time. Now apparently you can do this with pecans as well. I'm quite cool doing it like this because they remind me more of bacon bits. <laughs> oh, mm. Mm. Oops. Yeah, these are good. <laughs> oh my god. They're really, really good. You guys know I wouldn't lie to you about this stuff. I don't quite happily sit there with a bowl of those <laughs> and munch away. Oh my god. Mm. Yum. Right, they have to cool off. They're going in a jar. And apparently they will keep for weeks. So, bonus. Okay, it's the carrots. Now, I'm pretty sure that these will stiffen up a bit once they've cooled. Really? Yes, dear. <laughs> really? Okay. So I'm just going to loosen them all off the paper at the moment because I don't want them to um, get stuck forever. Because don't forget, this has got maple syrup in it as well. And we don't want to end up with these stuck to the paper and unable to ever get them off again so we've put a little bit of effort into these we don't want to fuck it up right there we go they're all done I'm just gonna put them oh that? there we go I've got a little dish here we're gonna put them in here for now give them a chance to cool off because I'm going to flip this paper over in a minute and we're going to do the second batch oh, I don't know oh, no. <laughs> okay so here we go there they all are now as we know A bit of fun. Right, so we're going to put that over there. The rest of our carrots here. Oops. So now, once we finish this, we'll be ready to turn over the eggplant. doing all this I have to admit that this is great fun and all but it's not something that I would want to do to get ready for a meal this is the kind of pre-prep work that I would have to do on a day off um, and make sure I had enough for like the week <laughs> because um, or two even depending on how it holds I don't know how it's gonna hold so you know, it might be alright. I think this, the sunflower seeds would hold for a while. I don't know about these. They may, they may not. But um, I suppose it depends on how you look after them. And I think if they went in the freezer, they might come out a bit soggy. Of course, the other option is that you pre-slice all your carrots. And you have them marinating and in the marinade in the freezer very carefully and then all you have to do is put them in the um, put them in the oven but again I think it's not kind of the way to go carrots tend to go a little bit cooked well actually most things that go in the freezer end up cooked from the freezing process <laughs> so I don't know if that would be a really good idea. Maybe they'd get too watery, maybe. I think they would. I think they might. But if anyone does it or has done it, 
and knows more about this than me. Just give us a ahoy, hey. And just let us know how it went. Okay, it's a little bit overdone there. <laughs> I was determined to get them all on, okay? Determined. Right, they can go back in the oven. Okay, so these have been in for their half time, so they need to be turned over. So we're going to do that. Um, if you don't want to do it with your fingers, don't do it with your fingers, do it with the tongs. But I think you'll find that the tongs might rip them. They're very, very delicate at this point. Um, the oven isn't as hot as the recipe says because I'm trying to do carrots at the same time so what I've done is I've just left these in for a wee bit longer so yeah because I figured that would work Ta-da! right and it seems to be working which is very cool so And considering we can't really have, we don't really want to waste the gas having the oven on for three hours longer than necessary. Um, we kind of have to do it this way. So yeah, if you have to worry about your gas or your electric or whatever, just turn the temperature down, do them all together, but do these for a little bit longer. Okay, so the second batch is done and it's a little bit crispier than the other one. Okay, that's okay. We're good. We like crispy bacon. This is not a problem. Okay. Okay. So we're going to get those done. They're going to add to our little... Ooh, that one's very... Yeah, that one's had it. <laughs> So we're going to add those to these and we're going to see how we go. Yeah, I kind of probably should have kept a better eye on them, but maybe I shouldn't have been watching fluffy videos. I don't know. He's funny. Alright. So they're done. Anyway. I'm going to get rid of these. Because, while I was in the oven getting those out, I noticed... Uh, that I needed to be in the oven getting these out. Okay, so we have a new thing we have to do now. We're going to get the old tray that the carrots were on. Uh, we're going to, oh shit. Ugh. Can I pick it up? Yeah, I can pick it up. Okay. So we got that one there. I'm going to do this. One. the way round two because we only got little ones we don't got a big one well we have got a big one but I'm not using it for this right because it's a pain in the ass to clean so what we're gonna do is now we have to put this aside for a sec and I oh starting to get a bit crispy Time to get a bit crispy. We like the crispy, the crispy, crispy. Now, next bit is. Hmm. Okay, so we basically we have to dump them all in the marinade now. Okay. Ow, that's warm. Still a bit warm. 
I'm going to have to move it because I need to do that. And we're going to pop all of those in there for a sec. Do, 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 do. And on this one, I'm going to do the rest of the oh, egg one in a minute. But it can sit there for now. Right, okay. Alright, so we need to get all this in here and coat it in the stuff and the, you know, the things. Okay, just get in there. Right. Now that's got to go now on our tray with the racks on it. Now it does say that you should put some baking powder under the uh, baking paper or foil, but nah, we'll just put it on. Let's just do it. See what happens. If. Just keep stripping these out. Meep. Meep. And what you guys don't know is I still have an eggplant in the cupboard. <laughs> so if this works, I might end up with loads. Probably not, actually, to be honest. I think I just want to... Because we've got this and we've got the carrot and we've got the the bacon bits as well so I think that's quite enough to be fair right this now is going back in the oven and it's going back in the oven for dun 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 12 minutes see you then okay look what we got we got we got the eggplant bacon. No, no, nums. Some of it's a little bit soggy, but I would imagine that when it cools off, it's going to get a bit crispier. This one's quite crispy. I'm going to give this one a crack. I'm going to try it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. This one here. Hmm? 33,000 million other people <laughs> okay all four of you that watch my videos at school yum oh oh okay interesting mm. it's stuck on my tooth <laughs> and we're gonna also try one of these. Okay, which is a bit of the carrot bacon. Hmm. Hmm. Nice. And we're going to try some of these. Oh, <laughs> they get so stuck together. It's awesome. You get clumps. Oh my god. Mm. You know what? I'm not quite sure which one I like the best. <laughs> I actually like all of them. I'm not going to lie to you. I actually like all of them. They're not bad. Mm, these. Okay. They, they, these could be a problem. Okay. Mm. Yep. Could be a problem. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
They all win. They all win. And I'm going to try them out tomorrow. I am. I'm going to try them out tomorrow in something like a BLT or something like that. Or maybe I'll do some grains or something like a couscous type salad or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't care. I haven't got that far yet. But they're pretty yum. So go make some. The recipes are down below. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up because that'd be awesome. Feel free to subscribe because that would be awesome too. And welcome to the family. Um, and hit the little bell ding-a-lingy thing down below next to the subscribe because then you get notified when I put up a video. So that'd be fun. This could be, this could be good. This could be lots of bacon for me. That's not bacon. A hell of a lot fucking cheaper. I mean, it's a lot cheaper. <laughs> Stop you buying the shops. Just saying. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'll see you guys later. Bye.